Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, um, Cancers or Pisces, <laughs> Pisces, oh, Pisces, oh, Pisces. All right, my darling, Pisces, there's a message. Um, this, uh, um, energy communication is here. So, Pisces communication is going to be the name of the game. Whatever is happening in transpiring. So we see past lives is coming back. And a lot of you young ladies between the ages of uh, 18 and 20 and 25 um, is dealing with some past life relationship. Okay, so you guys have past life. So a sense of knowing some of you are going to be meeting someone. And this this person who you meet is from a past life. It's a sense of knowing this person, a sense of uh, reconnection, a feelings of knowing this person, the situation before, okay? Past life link and journey towards through memories and a feelings of deja vu. And this is going to be leading to a long-term relationship um, for some of you. Or some of you, it could be a brief reunion or some of you could be a complete cycle of moving on. So... Whatever is transpiring is it, going to be affecting um, you young ladies, okay? Um, yep, it's going to affect you young ladies um, with this brief, um, you know, briefly meeting someone. And it is going to affect um, the ladies, um, any lady, um, whether you're young or old, any ladies, um, because we have... Um, ladies between the age of 18 and 45 and ladies 45 years and older um, some sort of a brief short past life person where you could end up in some sort of an open relationship especially for the ladies 45 years and older I see ladies 45 years and older are going to be ending up in open relationship not a serious relationship and the person is uh, the person in question wants to be free to date other people or you can want to be free to date others. But whatever is happening is that older women, women 45 years and older, you could be um, um, meeting a soul, a soulmate. OK, yes, this is your soulmate. You could be meeting this soulmate. So. um. Uh, this is a really wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies uh, and uh, whatever is happening and is coming up, uh, you're going to be recognizing this and this is going to be true. A whole lot of passion is here and a lot of you who had got um, married um, at Christmas, a whole lot of passion is here. Um, it is safe for you um, to love, open your heart and give and receive love in the eyes uh, energy of all. So I see marriages is looking good, a whole lot of passion in marriages. Some sort of a problem could have been there, but, um, you know, strong chemical chemi <laughs> chemistry attraction is going to be there with someone who has the mutual attraction, passion, love, life passionate about life in general, passionate about your goals, project, and creativity. When we have passion in our lives, we follow the passion. It's always bring us success, okay? So, you know, use this energy. Whoever is feeling a lot of passion, get with it, get going. And um, you need to change your oil, um, you know, and uh, um, this is a way of changing your oil. This makes you feel younger and healthier, so um, people, you're on the lockdown, have all you can get and change all the oil you can get because when things open up, um, things are going to be different, okay? So I know you Pisces, always getting on with it, a whole lot of sex. Um, so, um, you know, it is what you do, you know, um, the passion and everything that is coming up. Do enjoy these moments, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you married women is going to be recognizing that there was a third party in your uh, marriage for a very long time. And you married women is going to be recognizing that uh, uh, who this person is. 
So I see that you married women are going to be very, very surprised to find out who have been accessing your partner and recognizing that you were actually in a open relationship. And I see um, that you married women are going to be, uh, you know, open for open relationships. It's as if you you recognize this is my soulmate, but yet still. I am open to be in open relationships. So some of you married women could be married and recognizing um, that uh, um, someone has been accessing and using your information or uh, accessing and using your, your partners uh, um, and taking advantage of your partner. And it's a young lady. And I see a lot of you Pisces women is going to be recognizing that Hey, this young lady is someone who I know and who is very, very close to me. And you're going to be recognizing um, that this person um, that is uh, um, uh, coming up uh, and you're going to be thinking, oh, my God, but, you know, this child is a child. I used to help this child mothers out. And you're going to be recognizing this. And it is a past life issue. Whoever this young person is, is a past life issue. This young person have created this situation before. It's not the first time. And, you know, a lot of you are going to be recognizing Jesus. Um, it is someone that I have helped the mother out at some stage of uh, um, the game. You have helped the mother out. And you're going to be recognizing and thinking, oh, my God, this young person has been in my life or this person has been in my life for such a long time. But I see you Pisces women are going to be meeting your soulmate. So Pisces woman, um, 50 years and older, you're definitely going to be meeting your soulmate. Some of you could end up in open relationship with your soulmate, but I definitely see that you ladies, maybe because of the issue that is going on with your marriage, you're going to be ending up meeting your soulmate at this time. Take it, run it. Sometimes, you know... Um, Selfish people, selfish ways can create a, a whole lot of problems for you. But this is good because whatever and whoever this person is that tried to create some sort of an issue and problems for you, you're going to be recognizing that it leads you towards your soul mate. So, um, yeah, there is a lot of passion. Some of you are going to be reconnecting and, um, understanding reconnecting and understanding um what was happening and transpiring um and there you are going to be recognizing a whole lot of situation um that was happening and transpiring so um, you're going to be really um knowing um and recognizing that there was some sort of a unconventional situation that was at play so know this and recognize um the situation recognizing who you are um is going to be playing a valuable role and understanding who you are is also going to be playing some sort of a valuable role so um you know it is a perfect time um because uh, um especially for you ladies 50 years and older, it was a perfect time, a perfect time to understand who you are, a perfect time to recognize who you are and a perfect time to be aware of who you are and understand that uh, there was a whole lot of problems and situation that was created. But then you are now um, resolving all of what that was transpiring in your love life. So this is good, basically. Um, you know, uh, what is so good is that marriages and uh, is a, a lot of you who are having some sort of a really um, passionate moment with someone is going to be ending up asking them to marry. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would say yes. Yes to um, the dress. Yes to the ring. Don't buy any diamonds. Buy Zorkor. Zorkor clink just like a diamond and look just like a diamond and shine even brighter than a diamond okay so if even the ring is not a diamond i would i don't want any diamonds um you know and uh, um what is it for a little piece of diamond do you know how it costs millions of people their lives to get the diamond 
So I would say take the Zorkor. It's good. Um, and uh, with the Zorkor, you're going to be recognizing that uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, you're going to be, um, you know, on top of your games, recognizing and knowing that it is good um, for you to um, create like um, um, a lot of stability in your world and understanding um, that, hey, life is about learning, healing yourself, moving forward and opening up yourself for um, new love to come in. So beautiful. Pisces, um, I'm moving forward. If you'd like to follow me to the other side, I'd love to have you. If not, I'm saying namaste until next time. Welcome again, sirs. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. What a love. <laughs> this is the love reading for you, cancers. If I don't call a zodiac name, nothing to worry about um, for the rest. Um, if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, you can follow us to the other side. Alrighty. There is a lot that is going on, cancers. What a busy, busy love affair. Hmm. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking um, the step you are guided to. Um, they're going to be recognizing um, a lot of you cancers that you cancers have been having um, love triangle with people in other countries, other cities. A whole lot of love triangle has been going on. Um, they're also going to be finding out that you have been stringing on um, a lot of women or a lot of men. So you see the thing about you cancers is that ooh um you cancers can keep secrets but somehow some sort of some of you cancers are going to be caught because they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you cancers was having extra affair in other city other places other countries so, I see you young cancer women between the age of 18 and 25 is seeing an older man. This is an older rich man. And he's going to be taking you for, um, taking you away on some sort of a weekend for a uh, Valentine's Day. Okay. So I see this is coming out for, um, you, um, guys. Children is, uh, um, Affected cancers. Um, whatever is transpiring in love, a lot of cancers and their children are being affected at this time. I see some sort of a long distance relationship and situation that is transpiring. And I see um, that a lot of you are going to be affected, um, really affected um, in this timeline. And I see older men who have children overseas. Um, actually, you, you're worried about your kids overseas. Um, but you are having an affair with a younger person and they're going to be finding out. Children, family, there is just so much that is going on. Some of you cancers who have been having some sort of an affair with children and this is it there's there's health a lot of you older men seems to be going with younger women it is unhealthy okay if a woman is 20 years younger than you are it is an unhealthy relationship and i don't care what anyone have to say think about it if a person is 20 year older than you are and you're in a relationship that could be your father 20 years okay 10 years is the most 20 years that is really an old man who could be your father or maybe your grandfather that's an unhealthy relationship there are other young people out there that you can connect with okay and this is why i recognize when women um recognize that young women or uh, interfere in their marriage or relationship how pissed off they can be because i I, I really can understand that um, it's not that anything is wrong with these women, but there are some men that crave for younger women and that's health, unhealthy. You men need to recognize that that is an unhealthy thing that you have and you need to find help. Okay. Because if you are a man at 50, there is no way you should be going 
with a, a woman at 2025. 20, no, okay, because you're 25 years older than the person, so that is very unhealthy. So you need to find some sort of a help. So men, older men, because I'm seeing this is coming up. There it is, the older man. And this man is 45 years and older. And he is having, and he's always in affair and relationship with women 20, 30 years. That is just very much unhealthy people. And you're going to be um, taking this woman on a weekend or something and they're going to be recognizing this and uh, is going to be um, understanding um, that uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, this is a, hel un a healthy situation. A lot of you are having problems with the family because um, some of um, people in the family is going to be recognizing that their father is seeing someone as young as they are or their father is seeing their friends or their father is seeing um, someone that is close to the family. And, you know, the thing about it is that young ladies between the age of 18 and 45, uh, 18 and 25, it might look very, very um, nice because you're going on all these vacations and that sort of thing. The man is a freak, okay? And whenever you guys are going to be recognizing that this man is a married man and you're going to be with this person, you have to think about uh, who you are. What would you, how would you recognize uh, your father going um, away with someone your age? How would that feel? I see a lot of kids are going to be finding out some sort of a unhealthy behaviors of their parents. And this is just going to be wrong because this is going to be affecting um, them. And how it's going to be affecting them is that you're going to be recognizing uh, um, how um, this situation is just an horrible situation that, you know, a whole lot of family is going to be hurt by what has happened and what has transpired, a whole lot of family. So cancers before, especially you older men um, that live in another country, it's as if you're going to be taking someone, a younger woman, so you're back to your country and people are going to be looking at you as if, well, that's not his wife. He's always with younger women. And that show a signal. If even your kids is going to be recognizing that, you know, that is kind of unhealthy because she is my age. So I see a whole lot of family dynamics that is going to be coming in. And these family dynamics is going to be coming in because, uh, um, you know, people are recognizing um, what, uh, you know, has happened and what has transpired and uh, um, is going to be realizing um, that people have uh, um, been uh, so, so horrible um, at kids at school because they recognize that their parents is so young and they're recognizing what their parents uh, have done and how their parents are so young and how their parents are. And then um, we are going to be working on that and it's going to be resolving the situation. So um, now, um, you know, people needs to be aware. People needs to be aware of what is happening. People needs to be on top of the game of, uh, um, you know, recognizing what are healthy relationships? Because I think that you can source is going to be finding in yourself in some sort of an unhealthy relationship that is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring. So you have to recognize, uh, um, you know, you know what is healthy and what is unhealthy because a lot of you um, are not recognizing that there is some sort of an unhealthy behavior in the family where they're going to be finding out of. Uh, um, that cousins is with cousins and that sort of an LTB. So cancers, let's move on and check out to see exactly what is going to be coming out because a lot of you are, are going to be con co um, connected where um, people are going to be recognizing that they're in love triangles and that there's a younger people in their relationship and that um, cousins are seeing uncles and that's sort of an un, um, um, you know, unhealthy situation because people are not really recognizing 
that um, intimacy with a family member, whether um, it's a brother or a cousin or a first cousin or a second cousin, it's kind of unhealthy, ladies and gentlemen. And you only create karmas for yourself. Um, children who are pressured and placed in relationship with their fathers is sick, okay? Um, as a man can look at a young woman that is his only child and have an intimate relationships, you need medical help, you need psychiatrist help, okay? So whatever is happening and transpiring, I mean, people are going to be recognizing what has been plain, how things have been created, what was happening and what was transpiring. And now people are going to be solely recognize how unfortunate it is that some of you, um, your sisters and brother found out, uh, um, you know, what your father has been doing and who your father has been seeing. A lot of you are going to be upset with a friend. Um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that your friend have been seeing your father um, or a uncle or a family member for a very long time. And it's going to be upsetting for a lot of you because you recognize this is unhealthy. And I see it is going to be throwing a lot of you off your balance um, to find out that your own friend have been seeing an older person in the family. And this is um, like you grew up with this friend. So this friend is always around you in the family and has been seeing an older man and you're going to be recognizing um that you know it's it's going to be upsetting for some of you cancers so be aware of that now i am moving forward if you'd like to follow us to the other side you're welcome if not um show your likes by thumbs up and share namaste welcome uh scorpions i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back scorpions let's see what's happening all right, Scorpion, this looks like a very love month for a lot of you. Um, a lot of you are, you know, trusting. Um, uh, the situation is called for you to have faith. Um, you know, I hate when people tell me this. So you Scorpions, I don't know. You know, this is a card that I've always questioned. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Really? Um, okay, so, um, have faith in some sort of a short term, um, love affair that you have. There's a lot of gossip. I see a lot of gossip. Um, a lot of gossip is here over a readier, um, clear person. Uh, and people are gossiping over this person because they recognize that this person have created some sort of an issue. And a lot of people are gossiping over this person because they recognize what this person have done. Some sort of a short-term relationship, I see a whole lot of gossip. I don't know when people have the time to gossip. Um, soulmate situations are here. I see new love is coming in. So a lot of you Scorpions who have been looking for new love or is uh, um, having some sort of a soulmate situation, um, I see um, new love is coming in. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So I see a lot of you soulmates and a lot of you people who have met someone new. You're going to be taking some time off. And I think that that is a really good for some of you to take time off. If you're looking for um, uh, um, your soulmate, this is a month that you could call up on your soulmate and ask your soulmate to come in. I see this is also available. Single people, um, true love is coming in and um, true love and new love is different. True love is really a love that was meant to be. And I see that some of you blonde ladies are hoping that a relationship that you're in is true love or um, some sort of a new love. And I see a lot of you blonde ladies are hoping you know, um, that this situation is working out. But you blonde ladies and... Uh, of course, um, but it's coming up as blonde, blue-eyed ladies. There is a lot of gossip over you. A lot of people are just so gossiping over you and you need to recognize this. People need to stand their ground and recognize what is happening. Um, and this is why sometimes it's better. You keep your uh, things to yourself, okay? Because I see um, that a whole lot of you... Your girlfriends, uh, there is some sort of a 
Yes. Yeah, so what we recognize here is that women, this is a, a significant woman that a lot of people are gossiping over. This is a blonde lady. Some of you, this is a blonde lady. Some of you, this is a red hair lady. Some of you, it's a fair um, female, any age, but um, a lot of gossip. Your girlfriends are gossiping about you. Um, and yeah, this is, this is a situation where a, a lot of them are jealous of what you have. So we see with the true gem, uh, true love that is coming in. We see the energy of soulmate, which is really good. Feeling truly connected with a person, knowing that this other person is feeling the same way you feel about them, connecting through the eyes of love. This is so powerful. Um, and you could have connected in previous lifetimes. So soulmate is uh, that you have connected with these people in, um, uh, you know, past lifetime and can at least it is lifetime where you could have been with them short or a long time. Okay. Um, they always uh, often have more than one soulmate. And this is what I say to a lot of people because I see people giving out oh, soulmate reading, a uh, twin flame reading and this. Soulmates, you can have multiple soulmates, okay? So these are people from your soul tribe, soul family, okay? And you can have multiple of them. And this is why when you um, meet your soulmate, you feel connected to this person. But then when you meet your twin flame, it is as if, wow, it is an, a connection from the soul, okay? And the soulmate is like an art connection, but yet still soul connection. But it's as if you know these people from a, a long time. But when you meet the twin fame now that, you know, everything about this person, you feel so connected to this person in such a high level. And this is what is going to be transpiring. So I see a lot of you are going to be meeting um, your um twin flame and soulmate new love is going to be coming in and i see a lot of you are going to be retreating with this person no more friends uh, um and um just retreating with this person so someone new is going to be entering your lives okay new love a new phase of love is going to be um opening up a lot of you are going to be moving to the next phase of your relationship and this is a more happier phase renewal of your love to yourself or to your life so this is going to be absolutely wonderful this um um time for love is that uh, a lot of you some of you are going to be having some sort of a soulmate relationship but it's going to be very short so it's as if you connect with this person is very short and it's end you just had to um resolve some sort of a situation and end some sort of a situation then we look at true love and new love and we are going to be having a blonde female and that a whole lot of people are going to be jealous over and it's because you have met the right person it's as if you hit the love button on the right flow um you're connected in love with um an unexpected love relationship that is coming in and you're recognizing this and this is going to be as if out of the blues um, that you're recognizing all that was happening and transpiring. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous, okay? So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see you're recognizing, you're really recognizing what is happening. You're, um, you're understanding what is happening and you're knowing what is happening and you're recognizing um, a situation that has been transpiring and is um, being aware of... Uh, um, you know, that people are jealous. People are jealous when they see other people are really in love and other people are really connecting with each other. Um, people are very jealous, so you have to be aware of this. But I see whoever meet their soulmate or a twin flame, um, uh, or this new love that is coming in is that you're going to be retreating with this person in order to, um, learn who is this person. 
and finding out who is this person, understanding who is this person, and this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So this is definitely, definitely going to be good. So, um, you know, expect this to be happening, expect this to be transpiring in your world, because I see a lot of powerful love is going to be coming in and a lot of you are going to be recognizing this powerful love as, as it comes in and it's going to be really accessing um these moments with these people and it's going to be so aligned and awakened with these people and recognizing what is happening and what is transpiring in your world so um a lot of you some sort of a True love is going to be coming in, but it's going to be short, short, nippy and short, nippy and short. This true love that is coming in is going to be very, very short and nippy. They're going to be recognizing what is happening, what is transpiring, a very short and nippy um, situation that is happening and transpiring. And um, people are going to be recognizing um, this and it's going to be aware of uh, the unfairness that has been playing and how people have been seeing um through the illusion of what was created in your love life so um you know expect these things a lot of you true love is coming in do not give up on love really true love is coming in some sort of unexpected um connection is going to be coming in and a whole lot of true love, a whole lot of acceptance of love is going to be coming in. And I see positive alignment of true love is going to be here. A lot of people are going to be recognizing, um, you know, for yourself how beautiful this is and what is going to be transpiring. So I see love is going to be here. A lot of wonderful alignment of energies is going to be coming up and a lot of you are going to be recognizing, you know, um, you know, I give up on love, but I'm recognizing that as I give up on love, this person come in, should I trust this person? And, you know, give it time. I would not say blind, close your eyes and trust someone. Never, never do that. Um, people who live with people for over 20, 30 years, um, you know, those are the people you can trust because you know what to expect from them. But don't get in any relationship and blindly close your eyes and um, try to experience a relationship because that's where I see a whole lot of problems. This is going to be coming in. So Scorpion, enjoy the time. A lot of people is gossiping over your, um, you know, red ear, Caucasian, blue eyes, green eyes, a lot of people are gossiping over you, but let them gossip. People like to gossip. Um, show your loves by time up. Or if you'd like to see the extended of this read and follow us to the other side. If not, I'm saying namaste until next time.